He's lost count of the number of college graduations he's been a part of since taking the job as Maryland's education chancellor more than a decade ago. Dr. William Kerwin announced over the summer that he will be stepping down after a half century in mm. education. That is impressive. Today, Dr. Kerwin spoke with 11 News education reporter Tim Tootin about his past and his future. Tim. Donna Dr. William Kerwin, or Brit as his friends call him, has been the stage point man for higher ed for some time now. He'll be the first to tell you that retirement is not in his vocabulary, but he's about ready to move on. Um, I, am, I am so determined to, uh, and, and hopeful that the board's going to find a, a great leader to come here, and uh, I will pass that baton on, and then I'll, I'm, I'll be there to help in any way I can. But Until that happens, Dr. William Kerwin, Chancellor for the University System of Maryland, says he'll keep working to help students succeed. Higher education has really become the portal through which people have to pass if they want to have a good job and a high quality of life. So we have to have that portal open to everyone, everyone who wants a, a, a college degree. And if you do the math, you'll learn that Kerwin has spent more than five decades in higher education, 12 years as chancellor, 10 as president of the University of Maryland College Park and 24 years as a College Park professor. This is my 51st year of working in higher education and in, in a certain sense it's in my genes. My father was a university faculty member and at one time was president of the University of Kentucky, my alma mater. So my whole life has been uh, education and higher education in, in particular. We have a goal of establishing... And he's no stranger to politics. He's worked alongside Maryland Governor Robert Ehrlich and Governor Martin O'Malley, and now at least for a short time with the new governor-elect. I'm confident we'll have a good working relationship uh, with Governor uh, Hogan. Um, he said on several occasions already how much uh, he values higher education and... Uh, how important it is to the state. And so I think we're well positioned uh, in, in Maryland to continue making progress. Progress he believes should remain focused on the less fortunate. I will continue to work uh, in some way um, uh, in education. And uh, my, 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 my passion right now is finding opportunities for low-income students to get a college degree. There's no word on how soon the 10-member Board of Regents Search Committee will pick Kerwin's replacement. Live in the studio, Tim Tootin, WBAL, TV 11 News.